Enola Badmos TV Entertainment without bow. Uh, Kamal and I uh, are here to make a, uh, a brief statement, and I'm sure we'll have more to say later, and either tonight or tomorrow. But let me begin by thanking the press for being here and, and thanking everyone else. My fellow Americans, yesterday once again proved that democracy is the heartbeat of this nation. Just as it has, has been the heartbeat of this nation for two centuries. And uh, even in the face of pandemic, more Americans voted this election than ever before in American history. Over 150 million people cast their vote. Over 150 million people cast their vote. I think that's just extraordinary. And if we had any doubts, we shouldn't have any. That's just extraordinary. And if we had any doubts, we shouldn't have any longer about a government of, by, and for the people. It's very much alive, very much alive in America. Here, the people rule. Power can't be taken or asserted. It flows from the people. And it's their will that determines who will be the President of the United States and their will alone. And now, after a long night of counting, it's clear that we're winning enough states to reach 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency. I'm not here to declare that we've won, but I am here to report that when the count is finished, we believe we will be the winners. With all the votes counted, we have won Wisconsin by 20,000 votes virtually the same margin that President Trump won that state four years ago. In Michigan, we lead by over 35,000 votes, and I feel very good about Pennsylvania. Virtually all the remaining ballots to be counted were cast by mail, and we've been winning 78 percent of the votes by mail in Pennsylvania. We flipped Arizona and the second district of Nebraska. Of special significance to me is that we've won with the majority of the American people. And every indication is that the majority will grow. We have a popular vote lead of nearly 3 million votes, and every indication is that will grow as well. Indeed, Senator Harris and I are on track to win more votes than any ticket in the history of this country that ever won the presidency and vice presidency. Over 70 million votes. I'm very proud of our campaign. Only three presidential campaigns in the past have defeated an incumbent president. When it's finished, God willing, we'll be the fourth. This is a major achievement. This is a major achievement. And it's been a long and difficult campaign. But it's been a more difficult time for our country, a hard time. We've had a hard campaigns before. We've faced hard times before. So once this election is finalized and behind us, we've had a hard campaigns before. We've faced hard times before. So once this election is finalized and behind us, it'll be time for us to do what we've always done as Americans. Put the harsh rhetoric of the campaign behind us, to lower the temperature, to see each other again, to listen to one another, to, e to hear each other again, and respect and care for one another, to unite, to heal, to come together as a nation. I know this won't be easy. I'm not naive. Neither of us are. I know how deep and hard the opposing views are in our country on so many things. But I also know this as well. To make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as enemies. We are not enemies. What brings us together as Americans is so much stronger 
than anything that can tear us apart. So let me be clear. I, we are campaigning as a Democrat, but I will govern as an American president. The, pres the presidency itself is not a partisan institution. It's the one office in this nation that represents everyone. And it demands a duty of care for all Americans. And that is precisely against everyone. And it demands a duty of care for all Americans. And that is precisely what I will do. I will, I will work as hard for those who didn't vote for me as I will for those who did vote for me. Now, every vote must be counted. No one's going to take our democracy away from us. Not now, not ever. America's come too far. America's fought too many battles. America's endured too much to ever let that happen. We, the people, will not be silenced. We, the people, will not be bullied. We, the people, will not surrender. My friends, I'm confident we'll emerge victorious. But this will not be my victory alone or our victory alone. It'll be a victory for the American people, for our democracy, for America. And there will be no blue states and red states when we win, just the United States of America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. wonderful people my name is Amyola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Amyola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that this pandemic in the lab we need to take responsibilities and follow Follow government rules by washing our hands. We should use alcohol based sanitizer. We should maintain social distancing. We should use nose masks to be protected. Above all, guys, let's stay safe. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Remember to like and subscribe to Enyola Badmos TV. See you soon. Enyola Badmos TV. Entertainment.